Welcome back, folks, to our weekly NeoVim plugin video. This is a series in which we are covering one NeoVim plugin per week. So this week, we have a really cool plugin by our friend, uh, Folk. I think I'm pronouncing that right. Uh, it's called Flash.NVim. Now, I use this plugin day in and day out. I actually honestly can't live without it. Ever since I tried it, um, I don't think I'm going to go back to anything else. So what does it do? Let's open up this GitHub picture here. And uh, Flash is a, is a way you can quickly navigate your current buffer or multiple buffers. And it, you can do so in such a way that uses what we call identifiers or tags. You see these um, characters highlighted in pink or red here? G, X, capital G, capital P. These are identifiers that show up when you toggle flash and then start typing something that's in your current buffer. So in this case, he's typing LAB. And as he's typing LAB to search for the word label, these um, labels are popping up here. So at this point in time, flash will allow him to either hit G, X, capital G or P to move the cursor to that position very quickly. And uh, what's cool with this is that you can use this or integrate this with your regular search functions. So if you use backslash or if you use question mark for your search, uh, that can integrate very easily with, with Flash. So you don't have to change anything. And um, also you can integrate this with Tree Sitter to search and highlight Tree Sitter nodes. Um, so in this video, we're going to go through how to install Flash using Packer. Packer is the... Uh, package manager that we've been using in this NeoVim weekly plugin series. And uh, we're going to show you how to configure it. It's very simple. We're just going to do the basic default configurations for this time around. But for our key bindings, you remember last week we talked about which key for our key bindings, we're going to configure that with which key. And then I'll show you some useful commands toward the end of the video, like how to flash jump, how to use flash with regular search and how to use it with tree sitter. So let's go ahead and dive in. Let me uh, turn off my camera here and move this over to this side. Go back to the GitHub repo. So the first thing um, we're going to talk about is how to install it. I, I keep all of my installation packer directives in a file called plugins right over here. So I'm going to do uh, leader FF and search for plugins to go to that file. And uh, also, let me uh, just quickly open up Keycaster for you guys so we can record those keystrokes. All right, so at the very bottom of this file, using Shift G to go to the bottom of this file, you'll see that I've already put in my use directive for installing the plugin from GitHub. And we're using tag v1.18.2. I started tagging all of these plugins just because uh, when you do a Packer sync, it can update a plugin inadvertently and cause things to break. So we're starting to tag our plugins here. So we're going to use GCC to uh, uncomment that. And that's our comment plugin that we talked about a few weeks ago. Save it. And now we're going to go to another file called plugin configs. That's where I keep all of my configurations. So leader FF to open up telescope. Let's search for plugin configs. This is where I keep my plugin configurations. And uh, you can see here, this, this file is rather large. I'm gonna code fold everything into a single line statement using UFO. Uh, I'll do that using Z capital M. And, you, and now you can see everything's code folded very nicely into a single line. So shift G to go all the way down. And this is where I have put my require statement for configuring flash. And again, there's nothing here because, uh, you know, we're just using the default mappings, which is fine. I think uh, Flash works well with these default configurations. All right, so now that we've done that, let's set our key mappings. So I like to set all of my key mappings in a file called key mappings. So we'll enter, hit enter to go into that file, go all the way down, and I've already set some options here for Flash. So we'll go through with them, go through them together. Uh, I'll do GC to uncomment that. Control N to get rid of uh, MVM tree on the side there. And now you can see here, I've set a key for the uh, character L and S, T, R. And my prefix is leader. So what this is saying here is that when I press leader, 
ls, it's gonna run this function. When I press leader lt, it's gonna run this function. So this is a, a special kind of way you can register mappings using a plugin called WitchKey. We talked about this last week. And what that allows you to do, it allows you to uh, define, not only define your key mappings, but also have it so it appears in this menu here. So you can see here, I press my leader key and this menu comes up here. This is the which key plugin. So once we uh, restart NeoVim and install the plugin, we'll see a flash come up here, which is kind of cool. All right, so exit that. And I believe we are done with all of our key mappings and configurations and use directives. So just confirm that real quick and uh, come back over here. I can see here in my buffer line plugin that the file is not saved. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just save that file real quick. And then now I'm gonna restart and yield them. All right, so go back into init.lua, get this message here, it's saying flash is not found, we're trying to configure it. That's because we haven't installed it yet. So we hit enter and it's gonna take us back in here. And now we can do a packer install. Okay. Now you can see it's installed flash. Hit Q to quit that. And we'll do another restart. Great. Okay. Well, I'm going to open up another file heal here. Plugin configs. Because uh, I think this file is just better to show you um, what flash will do. Or can do. So notice here that my cursor is on line 12, I believe it is. Um, but for, say for example that I wanted to move my cursor to full name down here. And I wanted to do so in such a way where I don't have to use you know the relative numbers here. Normally what I would do is I would say, okay, well, this cursor is 14 lines below um, where it is now. So I'll do a you know 14J and that'll move it down. And that's a good way to move around. You know, there's nothing wrong with that. But Flash makes it a lot easier. Say I wanted to go to full full name this line here, but I wanted to move my cursor to this word here, false. Well, let's open up Flash to do that. I hit my leader key, and you can see here which key has popped up, and it has added the leader key L over here for Flash. And then now I'll hit L, and then I will do a uh, Flash jump. So S at this point. Let's hit S, and then now it's kind of grayed everything out, but when I start typing a word, like I want to, I want to go to line four, or I want to go to full name false over here. So, so I start typing, so I start typing false, F, A, and you can see here all these labels have come up. I know which line I want to go to, it's line 14. So the label I want to hit, the label key is S. It's highlighted in yellow right there. So let's hit S and there it is. My cursor is now on faults. So let's do that one more time. What if I wanted to go to left up here? Well, what I would do is hit leader, L, S, and then start typing left. Oh, what, as soon as I hit L, it gave me that label there. So I'm gonna hit capital B and now my cursor's up here on left, you can see here. So it's a really quick way to navigate uh, your buffer. All right, so it also works with your regular search functions. So say I wanted to search for yes, right up here. Normally what I would do is I would do backslash yes. All right, as soon as I start typing Y, that identifier, that label came up as F. So I'm gonna hit F and there I am. It also works very well with question mark. So it integrates very nicely with the native search features. One last thing I wanted to show you guys is how it works with tree sitter. Um, so if you wanted to highlight a, an entire tree sitter node, what you would do is you would go leader L and then there's this tree sitter mapping that we've mapped T. So we hit T and at this point, it's going to show you all of the tree sitter nodes available to search from your cursor. So my cursor was here. So you can see here, I can go to the BC node here at the bottom. I can go to the C node, which is the entire line, or I can highlight this entire block 
by pressing E. So let's try that. Let's press E. Uh, hit E. And now I've highlighted my entire view block. So I can, I can do whatever I want with that. I can delete that. I don't actually want to delete that. But I can yank it, you know, and I can, I can do whatever I want now that it's highlighted. So let's try that one more time. And we'll try it down here. Uh, let's go down a little more here. Let's try it in the icons block. So that is leader, L, T, and it marks all of my tree sitter nodes. So say I want to highlight just the indent markers block, this one here. So I hit F and there it is. It's highlighted the entire node, therefore as the entire block. So it's a really quick way to, you know, copy functions, copy blocks, or, or select them, or uh, select them in visual mode. Um, so I like it a lot. That is flash.nvim. I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. Um, let me know if you want me to cover any other plugins next week, uh, but I'm going to try to keep posting videos every Friday. All right. Thank you, guys.